of your torso, the hips, shoulders, and head, all in alignment. Take a few deep breaths, inhaling the shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale, sigh, and release them down the back. Two more like that. Inhale, shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, sigh. One more deep breath in, fill all the way up. Exhale, let it go. Close the lips, breathe in through the nose. And with the lips closed, sigh through the nose. Start to find Ujjayi Pranayama filling up fully on the inhale. Empty out completely as you exhale. And then we'll inhale together for the count of four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Keep that going. Inhale for four. And exhale for four. Steady breath. Gathering palms together at heart center. See if you can feel in for your own heartbeat. Connecting to that more subtle experience in your body. And we'll open to the vibration of OM. Start with a deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh. Inhale for OM. Oh. Open your eyes, make your way to a tabletop position. So we'll come onto hands and knees. On all fours, and we'll just get a nice morning stretch to the cat and cow, curl the toes under, round the spine, press the ground away, and then you can untuck the toes and arch, gaze up. Start to take this at your own pace. So you're arching and rounding, inhaling and exhaling. And if you want to add some additional movements, maybe move the shoulders or the ribs, the hips, the head. Deepen your breath as you do this, in and out of the nose. And the more that you breathe, the more that you can feel what's going on. Our breath is our connection to grace, to being in the moment. Another full inhale. Long exhale. And extend the right leg back behind you. Nice and long. Reach the left arm forward so you're balancing here. So you're reaching long from fingertips to toes. Inhale, elbow to your knee as you exhale, like a little crunch. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, elbow to your knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach nice and long in that balancing table. And you can either stay here or bend the back knee and reach back to grab the foot with your left hand. Tiger pose, kick the foot into the hand. So you open up the shoulder, the front of the chest. One more, full breath in, and a long breath out. Reach back into balancing table. Float the hand down to the mat, keep your right leg extended all the way back behind you and bring the big toes down to the mat. Pulse the right heel towards the back of the room. Seal the back heel down like warrior two, then turn your whole body to the long edge of the mat. Reach your right arm up and find some circles with your right arm. Just opening up the shoulder joint. 
You can do this with your breath, infusing movement and breath together. Reach the right arm up and over your ear and lift the right leg up. It's almost like a half moon on your left knee. Reach long from fingertips to toes, breathe in. Draw the elbow and knee together as you breathe out, getting into the obliques. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. And then inhale, reach long. You can stay here. And just to play, if you wanted to grab your foot here, like another variation of our tiger's pose, bend the back knee and reach back. It's almost like a, like a half bow pose. So take one more full breath in and a long breath out. We'll release, stretch the leg out long, come back into a tabletop position, and we'll find puppy pose. So arms are really strong. Walk the hands out in front of you and melt your heart down towards the floor. Opening up the chest, the upper back. Taking a full inhale, long exhale. Look between your hands and slide into Sphinx pose. You can imagine you're kind of dragging the mat back as you pull your heart forward. The collarbones are spreading wide. You can look over the right shoulder, look to the left. Looking center, lower yourself down. Slide hands under the shoulders and press up into a tabletop position. And we'll just take it to the other side. So extend the left leg back behind you and then the right arm forward. Lots of core stability here. Breathe in, elbow to knee as you breathe out. Inhale, reach and lengthen long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Really good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in. And then inhale, lengthen the leg and the arm. Stay here for the balance, or maybe you grab the foot. If you're grabbing the foot, kick the foot into your hand. And that's going to open up the front body. So another full breath in. Long breath out. Balancing table. Inhale, stretch out the limbs. Float your hand to the mat and bring the left toes to the mat. So the legs are still extended behind you. Just pulse the heel towards the back of the room. Seal the back heel down and turn to the left side. Reach your left arm up. And start to circle your left arm. Nice big circles, inhaling and exhaling. Reach the left arm up and over the ear, and then lift your left leg. Balancing here, kind of a modified half moon pose. Inhale, lengthen through the limbs. Exhale, crunch, elbow to knee, feel your obliques working. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. And then inhale, reach, lengthen. Either stay here or you can bend the back knee and grab onto the foot for our half bouncing bow pose. Another full breath in, long, complete breath out. Then reach into that little half moon type pose and then lower the hand and knee back down to the mat. We'll find our way into our puppy pose, melting the heart towards the floor. Look between your hands and slide into Sphinx pose. The elbows slide forward so you can bring the belly down. Lower the forehead to the mat, hands by your shoulders. Hug the elbows in for Cobra pose. Inhale. And then press through bent knees, curl the toes under. Downward facing dog. Hips lift up and back. Take a nice deep breath here. Roll forward into plank pose. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Plank pose as you breathe in. Down dog as you breathe out. 
plank pose, inhale, down dog, exhale, right leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip, inhale, right leg up to the sky, exhale, right knee to left elbow, crossed, inhale, reach it up, knee to nose, exhale, inhale, reach it up, right knee to right elbow, hold it there, place the foot outside of the right hand, left hand down, right hand up for a twist, keep bending into the front knee, drawing the right hip back in space, and rolling the right shoulder, shoulder open, you might want to go for a half bind here, draping the right arm behind your back, only if it feels okay for your shoulder, we're still warming up here. Another big breath in, long breath out. Release the right hand down to the inside of the foot, drop the back knee down, and lower your forearms down. You can use blocks here, or you can lower down to the mat. We're just looking to find your edge in every pose, that place that's comfortably uncomfortable. Right? Only you really know where that is. You don't want to have it to be too overwhelming that you can't breathe, right? but you want something to be happening, to change, some stretch, strengthening, and release. So take one more breath here in a lizard lunge. Hands on your shoulders, sit back into plank pose. Take a full breath in. Lower halfway, chaturanga, and you can always put the knees down if you need to here. Hold in chaturanga, hug the elbows in, breathing in. Lower all the way down as you breathe out. Take your hands wide on the mat. So a wide cobra, rise up, breathing in. Lower down as you breathe out. Inhale as you rise up. And exhale to lower. Inhale, cobra pose, rise up. And then just bend the knees. So you're working your hamstrings. It's not about touching your head, but feeling the work in the glutes and the back of the body. Inhale. And lower down as you exhale. Hands on your shoulders. Press the way back into downward facing dog. Lift the left leg. Inhale. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, cross the body to the right upper arm. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach the leg back. Left knee, left upper arm. Place the foot outside. Right hand down. Left hand up. So bend into the front knee. And at the same time, Feel the back thigh move up towards the ceiling. It's going to even out your hips. Take the twist more into the shoulders, the upper back. Yeah, you can go for that bind. Really good. Keep the breath moving in your twist. Every inhale draws in fresh oxygen. Every exhale sends away carbon dioxide. So you're detoxifying your whole system with each breath. Release both hands to the inside of the left foot, drop the back knee down, and lower the forearms down. Lizard lunge. And as you breathe, try to move your awareness around your body. Become more in tune with the subtle nature of your being. Right beyond just the physical layer, you can tap into your breath, your heartbeat, the whole internal environment, your inner landscape. Hands under shoulders, press your way up into plank pose. Take a full breath in. Lower to chaturanga as you breathe out, full inhale. Lower all the way to the mat as you exhale. Find your cobra pose. It could be a baby cobra, a medium cobra, or up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Take a walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Hang over the legs here. 
and grab opposite elbows, sway from side to side. Nod your head yes and no. Bend knees, round your way up to stand. Reach the arms up overhead. Right hand grabs the left wrist. We're gonna side bend over to the right, lateral side bend. Really pressing the left foot down into the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale back up to center, switch the grip up and over to the other side. Send the breath into that left side or right side of your rib cage. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Stand in Tadasana. Release the arms down by your side. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Right leg steps back, low lunge, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. We're gonna take a vinyasa here. So roll forward into plank pose. If you need to modify, you can always put the knees down. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull forward, forward, forward for the back bend. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, right leg lifts, breathe in. Step forward as you breathe out, low lunge. Right arm lifts, twist, inhale. Right hand down, left foot steps forward, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise, reach up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Left leg steps back, low lunge, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Vinyasa, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the front body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Step forward as you breathe out. Left arm lifts, twist, inhale. Left hand down, step forward, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise and reach up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Right leg steps back, inhale, down dog, exhale. Plank pose as you breathe in, chaturanga as you breathe out. Roll over the toes for the back bend, inhale, exhale, hips lift, down dog. And then you can lift the heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, either hop or let you <laughs> Walk to the top of the mat, flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale, rise and reach up as you breathe in, fold forward over the legs as you breathe out, left leg steps back, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, plank pose as you breathe in, chaturanga as you breathe out. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold here, breathing in. And out for one. It's really spreading the fingers, reaching the heels towards the floor. Looks really good, everyone. Let your head drop down and look towards your toes. So you're releasing the back of the neck, relaxing the face and the jaw. One more deep breath in, long breath out. Lift the right leg as you inhale, step forward as you exhale, back heel down, cartwheel the arms open into warrior two. So the hips and shoulders are open to the side of the mat. Nice deep bend in the front knee. Straighten the front knee, reach your arms up, breathe in. Left hand grabs the right wrist. So it's like that side bend. You're gonna side bend back as you re-bend the front knee, like a reverse warrior. But really lift up the right side of the rib cage. Breathing in, breathing out. And then come back into warrior two, inhale. Cartwheel hands to the mat, 
Sit back to plank and lower through chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Step forward between the hands. Back heel down. Rise up into warrior two. Take a moment to really ground your feet. Find a straight spine. Think of lining up hips, shoulders, and head. Inhale, straighten the front knee, reach straight up. Grab the left wrist. And as you re-bend the front knee, find a little side bend, lifting the left ribs up. Reverse warrior. Breathing in and breathing out. Warrior two, inhale. Cartwheel hands to the mat, exhale. Sit back to plank and lower through chaturanga. If you've had enough of chaturanga, you can always hold plank or skip it. We're just looking to build strength here. Down dog, breathing in. And out for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Right leg lifts, inhale. Step forward between the hands. Back heel down, we'll rise up into warrior two. Straighten the front knee, breathe in. Grab the right wrist. Rebound the front knee, reverse warrior as you breathe out. And then inhale, warrior two. We'll take it into side angle. So you can rest the right elbow on the right thigh. You could also bring your hand down to the floor or a block. Reach the left arm up and then turn the palm to the top of the mat as it reaches over your ear. Breathing in and out for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Cartwheel hands down to the mat so that they frame your foot. And then take a low lunge, left hand down, right hand up. Turn all 10 toes to the right. So I'm rolling to the outer edge of the back foot, turning the right toes to the right side. And we're gonna find side plank. Step the right foot back to meet the left. You can stagger your feet, stack them. You could also do that pose we did in the beginning with the left knee down on the mat. Breathe here for three, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, reach your right arm to the top of the mat. And as you exhale, come into plank and lower down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Step forward between the hands and rise up, warrior two. Straighten the front knee, reach up, inhale. Grab the left wrist, re-bend the front knee, reverse warrior, exhale. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, side angle. And just match the variation you did on the first side. Turning the right palm to the top of the mat, and reaching the arm up and over your ear. Breathing in and out for one. Inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three. Cartwheel both hands to the mat, low lunge twist, right hand down, left hand up. So your right hand is firmly planted into the ground as you roll to the outer edges of the feet. And you're really pressing through that right foot as well so that you can step back into side plank. It's a full body exercise. You're using your legs, <clears throat> the obliques, the glutes, the upper body for three. Breathing in and down for two. I'm gonna reach your left arm up and over the ear. Inhale, plank pose, lower down, exhale. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg as you breathe in. Step forward as you breathe out. Back heel down. 
Cartwheel the arms open into warrior two. Straighten the front knee as you breathe in. I'm gonna set up for a triangle pose. So you might need to bring the back foot in slightly. Legs are straight, but not hyperextended. All right, so you're lifting up through the kneecaps, lengthening the right side of the body, letting that right hand float down to your thigh, shin, a block. Think about lengthening both sides of the body. Breathing in and out for one. In and out. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Press into the legs and rise back up. Rebound the front knee, warrior two. Bring left hand to left hip. And you may want to use a block for this. Um, we're going into half moon, so it's your choice. You're going to reach your right hand out so it's underneath your right shoulder as you lift the left leg up. Pulling and lengthening the right side body. Right. If, you have a, if you had a wall, you could also lean up against the wall. A little cheat. But it's like you're leaning that left shoulder back, rolling that left hip open. Breathing in. And out for one. Really radiating through your limbs. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Chair pose. So feet together. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. And then draw the right knee in towards your chest. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. So you're in a figure four position, hands to heart. Keep flexing the right foot as you sit down into your chair. So you can stay here in balance. You could fold and bring the forearms to your shin. Right, some people might wanna bring the hands to the mat, or you can also put your hands on blocks here. This is a really great stretch for the hip. If there's anyone that wants to go into the arm balance, Floating pigeon, you press the right shin against your triceps for the arms like in chaturanga. So, many different progressions to take here. Three more breaths. Exhale for three. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale one. Rise, reach up, breathe in. Mountain pose, Tadasana, as you breathe out. Widen your feet. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sit down into Malasana. And you can kind of move it around here, open up through the hips. Take a deep breath. If you want to play into crow pose, hands to the mat, hips lift, knees hugging towards the triceps. For three, gazing forward. For two, and you can either step back, you can jump back, Take a vinyasa of your choice here. Breathing in, down dog. Breathing out. Left leg lifts, inhale. Step forward, exhale. Back heel down, cartwheel the arms open, warrior two. Straighten the front knee, breathe in. Set yourself up for triangle pose. So the legs are in the stable shape of a triangle. And then you lengthen the upper body. Lengthen the left side and the right side body. Rolling that right shoulder open. Breathe in. And out for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Press into the feet, rise back up. Warrior two. Right hand on right hip. Maybe you grab your block or you have it sit up in front of you because we're going into half moon. So you're bending that left knee, lengthening the torso and reaching the crown of the head forward as the right leg presses back behind you. And then maybe you reach that right arm up as well. So holding your half moon pose there, breathing in and out for one. Inhale. Exhale, two, yeah, if you fall out, you just come back in. That's the thing with balance, you never quite have it. Inhale, exhale, three, chair pose, feet together, reach the arms up, and then that leg you're just balancing on, draw the left knee in towards your chest, we're gonna open up the hip, cross left ankle, over the right knee, hands to heart. 
And then you have the option to stay here, fold, bring the hands to the blocks, maybe play into an arm balance. The practice really never ends. Breathing in and out for one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Rise up, reach up. Mountain pose. <clears throat> okay, so from our mountain pose, we're gonna take uh, one more balance, <clears throat> tree pose on the right hand side. So you're gonna start with your hands on your hips. I'll just face forward so you can see. Externally rotate the right leg. Either plug it into the ankle, shin, or foot into thigh. So wherever the foot lands on the leg, the foot is pressing into the leg, the leg is pressing back into the foot. Inhale the arms up. Bring the right hand to the right thigh. And start to slide the head down your thigh and see if you can find a little side bend like we did standing. Side bend over to the right. We're kind of off balance here. Nice work. We'll come back through center. Breathe in. Let the knee point forward. Extend it straight back behind you, warrior three. Bend the standing knee, warrior two. Landing on two feet. Reverse warrior, inhale. Cartwheel hands to the mat. Exhale. So we're going to go into side plank. Start by placing the right hand down, left hand up. Roll to the outer edge of the back foot. We're going to do it with a tree pose variation. So option one is to grab onto your left knee. If you have the left knee, you can place the left foot on the thigh. So you're in tree pose and plank. You can also do any variation of plank for three, Breathing in, and out for two, inhale, exhale, one. If you have tree pose, you can keep it for plank pose into chaturanga. Both legs back, up dog cobra, inhale, downward facing dog. In your down dog, take a huge breath in, open the mouth, sigh, let it go. Either hop or walk to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise and reach up, breathe in. Hands to heart, breathe out. We'll take tree pose left side. So externally rotate the left thigh. Plug it into the ankle, shin, or upper leg. Just find that center point, maybe gazing at one point on the floor that helps to steady your balance. When you're ready, inhale the arms up overhead. So you have to be very stable in the lower body to find the side bend in the upper body. Left hand to left thigh, you just have to slide the hand down your thigh as you side bend over to the left. How can you balance when you're either off center? All right, reach both arms up. You're gonna go into warrior three. So thread the left leg back behind you. You start to bend the standing knee, step back into warrior two. Both feet on the ground. Reverse warrior, inhale. Cartwheel hands to the mat. Okay, so we're going into that side plank. Start with a twist, left hand down, right hand up. Roll to the outer edge of the back foot. If you wanna go for that tree pose, hanging on to the right knee and then placing the foot on the thigh that helps to open up the hip. Lifting the hips up for three. Breathe in, awesome work for two. Inhale, exhale, reach the right arm over. You come into plank. And take your vinyasa. Inhale. 
downward facing dog. Exhale. Come down onto your knees. Child's pose. So we'll take a twist. Thread the right arm underneath the left armpit. Option to bind left arm behind your back. I'm just starting to slow down your breath. Take a moment to connect to the floor. Come back through center. Other side, left arm underneath, right armpit. Right arm can thread behind the back. Coming back through center. Roll your way up to stand on your knees. If you have a block, you can take your block and place it in between your thighs. And that's there to remind you to use your core and connect to your center. So you're hugging the block with your thighs. Tuck the tailbone under, hands to the low back. Roll the shoulders back and down. And as you inhale, feel the spine lengthening. Squeeze the block. And as you exhale, open up the chest. You may look up towards the corner of the room or the ceiling. Right, if you feel steady here, you might reach back to grab the heels or even let your head drop back. All the while using your core, tucking the tail, using your glutes to come up. And then you can take your block to sit on, place it between your ankles, rest the hands on your thighs. Inhaling for four, three, Two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, steady breath. We can stay here or we can start to recline into Virasana. This might be a plenty of a stretch in the heels and the ankles. If you're sitting on a block, you could just walk your hands back. Um, or even maybe lower the elbows to the mat. If it's available, you could remove the block so that you're sitting on the floor, or you could even sit maybe on like a blanket, something that's a little bit less, right? And so you're just slowly lowering your way in. You want the heels to be close in towards your glutes, not the legs out to the side. So everything's kind of snuggled in tight here as you lower onto the forearms. Some people might be able to lower all the way down onto the back, but as you grab, your elbows, right? Never pushing it too far, just finding your edge for today. So we have lots of options. They're all correct. Try to slow down your breath here. And when you're ready to come out, slowly prop yourself up onto the forearms. Now make our way back to a downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, sigh. Lift the right leg to the sky, inhale. Bring the right knee forward for pigeon pose. Left leg is extended straight back behind you. Use a prop if you need underneath your right hip. Um, if you're falling to that side, right, you just want your hips to be square and then lower yourself down either onto the forearms or you can rest your head on a pillow or block. And maybe invite some little gentle movement. It can be a little rocking of the hips, a little exploration as your body settles into the floor. And just imagine that on every inhale, you're making more space in your body. And on every exhale, there's more release and letting go. So with each breath, you become more present, more ingrained in this moment. And as you move the awareness around your body, maybe noticing places you haven't noticed before. Your fingertips, the hands, Relaxing the back of the head or the face. Okay, 
hands under your shoulders. Lift your way up into downward facing dog. And lift the left leg as you breathe in. Bring the left knee forward, pigeon pose on the other side. Make sure the back leg is extended straight back behind you. No rush to get in. So set yourself up with any props that you need. You can always do the stretch on your back if there's any pain in the knee or the ankle. Figure four is always a good option. Now once you can settle in physically, try to let go and tap into that more subtle layer of your being, the breath. And as you breathe, you can explore that internal environment of yourself, your inner landscape. Place hands under your shoulders, lift the torso up. Roll onto your left hip and just swing the legs around in front of you. And you extend the legs out. Your choice, you can have feet together, feet separated, or maybe you want to take a upavishta, wide-legged forward fold, reaching the arms up and folding over the legs here. Very down regulating. We did a lot of um, standing balancing poses, so now to counterbalance that, we're on the floor folding into a more passive stretch, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is this rest and digest, calming the nerves. And that's what yoga helps us to do, to take us out of this state of fright, flight, and into a rest and digest mode. And that's where we can see clearly, have more clarity, focus, Peace. Roll your way up to sit and then make your way down onto your back or you can also sit in meditation if you like for a short shavasana. You won't be here for too long so just allow yourself to drop into it. Settling into the physical body No need to think or direct yourself anymore. You can just take one final deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh. Just release everything. Here's a poem from Dana Folds called Allow. There is no controlling life. Try corralling a lightning bolt, containing a tornado. Dam a stream and it will create a new channel. Resist and the tide will sweep you off your feet. Allow and grace will carry you to higher ground. The only safety lies in letting it all in. The wild with the weak, fear, fantasies, failures, and success. When loss rips off the doors of your heart or sadness veils your vision with despair, practice becomes simply bearing the truth. In the choice to let go of your known way of being, the whole world is revealed to your new eyes. And gently invite some movement back into the body wiggling fingers and toes, or rocking the head from side to side. And if you need more time on your back, you can stay there. If you're ready to bend the knees, you can roll to one side and make your way up to sit. And once seated, gather your palms in front of the heart. Anjali Mudra, <clears throat> it's a gesture to connect to our heart center. 
really what we're doing in our practice is learning how to connect to this more subtle layer of our being so we can truly follow our heart's desires. And let's join our voices with the other heart followers with the vibration of OM. Take a deep inhale. Open the mouth, sigh. Inhale for OM. Thank you all for practicing with me this morning. Um, have a wonderful day. Um,